There are loads of ways to change the look and feel of our Android devices, from changing wallpapers to a new icon pack to even downloading a custom ROM. Changing launches though might be one of the easiest ways to give a quick UI overhaul to any Android device. Hey guys, Omoto here from C4E Tech and in today's video we are sharing some of the most unique launches that you can try out in 2020. Oh, and if you do end up liking this video, then please consider subscribing and turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. Kicking off our list, we have Ares. Have you ever felt like you wanted to be a hacker, write code and break through network security? Well then, Ares is the launcher for you. It looks super cool with this unauthorized text blinking on top, with the rest of the home screen dominated by the console. We can type in the name of an app to open it up or pick it up from this row down below. There are loads of themes and customizations that are available here, but most of them are behind an ad wall. We can of course buy the premium version or watch ads and unlock features that way. The only con that we have here is that as cool as Ares looks, there's a ton of ads baked into the launcher. Next up, we have Windows 10 Launcher. Most of us use Windows on our desktop computers and laptops, so this layout would be familiar to you guys. What's new here is the creative way everything has been laid out. Even the Files app looks and feels exactly like the Windows File Explorer. We have a lot of cool little touches here, like clicking on this brings up the quick toggles. We can also see our notifications here, just like Windows 10. We also have a Windows style app list. And what's more, we can even customize the look and feel of this launcher further with various downloadable themes. The third launcher on our list is Niagara. This is a minimalist launcher that has everything we need on just one home screen. Up top, we have the time and date followed by a weather widget. We can customize this one, add whatever widget we want. Next is a list of commonly used apps. The interesting feature here is that the app list shows smart notifications. Like if we get a Slack message, it pops up right here next to the app icon. As for the rest of our apps, we can access them through this alphabetical list on the right hand side. The launcher settings are also available at the bottom. The whole draw here is the clean design, easy to use interface and smooth transitions. For number four, we have Seri. It has a completely unique look and feel to it. We have a big widget at the very top followed by our most used apps. The app icons are large and easy to find, although they can be changed through the launcher settings. Swiping up reveals the rest of our apps and swiping down gives us the search option. Seri has a ton of customization, but the sad part here is that most of them are only for the pro version. Fifth on our list is Aero Launcher. Thanks to the lockdown, most of us have been using our phones a lot more than usual. This launcher helps reduce that. The no frills text interface makes for a very clean look and feel. All our important apps are neatly arranged in the home screen and we can swipe to the left to bring up our app list. We can have up to four predefined widgets on the four corners of our screen, although the music widget is only available with the pro version. This launcher focuses on minimizing distractions, so we can pick up our phone, do whatever we intended to, and then keep it down again without getting caught up on any social media notifications. Of course, since this is a C4E tech list, we must have a bonus launcher, right? Well, here's our bonus launcher for the day, Lena. Now I know, at a glance, it doesn't really seem all that interesting, does it? But watch this. Yep, we can create multiple windows and work on Lena like it is an actual desktop environment. Now, all apps don't work like this. In fact, we have quite a meager selection of apps from this app dock at the bottom that opens up in separate windows. For the rest of the Android apps, well, they can be accessed from here and they function just as normal apps would do. Lena is a great tool for multitasking, but it still needs a bit of polish to smoothen out the rough edges. Well, that about completes our roundup for the most interesting launches. Did you guys like any of them? Have you seen or used any of these launches before? Let us know through the comment section. Also, if you have any interesting launcher that you'd want us to try, then leave your suggestions in the comments. Oh, and if you do end up liking this video, then please consider sharing, subscribing, and turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Thanks a lot for sticking around till the end, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.